Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Which number is larger, 99 factorial or 50 to the power of 99? I thank Vicente for the suggestion, and this problem is adapted from the 2021 Chile Math Olympiad. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I'll show two different ways to solve the problem. The first method involves a clever pairing of the products in the factorial. So 99 factorial is equal to the product of the whole numbers from 1 to 99. Now let's pair 49 and 51. 49 times 51 is equal to 50 minus 1 multiplied by 50 plus 1, which is equal to a difference of squares. 50 squared minus 1 squared. We can then pair the next two numbers. We have 48 times 52. That'll be 50 minus 2 multiplied by 50 plus 2. So that'll be a difference of squares. 50 squared minus 2 squared. We continue pairing. So we have 47 times 53. This will be 50 minus 3 multiplied by 50 plus 3. And that's equal to 50 squared minus 3 squared. So we can continue pairing all the way to the very last pair of 1 times 99, which is 50 minus 49 multiplied by 50 plus 49, which is 50 squared minus 49 squared. So how does this pairing help us? So we have 99 factorial, which is equal to the product of these pairs. Now we can rewrite each pair as a difference of squares. Notice that each of these is going to be less than 50 squared because we have 50 squared minus some other square. So we have 49 terms that are less than 50 squared and then we multiply this by 50. So we have 50 squared to the power of 49 multiplied by 50. That will be equal to 50 to the power of 98 multiplied by 50, which is equal to 50 to the power of 99. And that's exactly what we want to prove. 99 factorial is less than 50 to the power of 99. That's one way to solve the problem. Another clever way is to use the AM-GM inequality. We have the nth root of the product of n non-negative real numbers is less than or equal to the arithmetic average of the n numbers. This is for non-negative real numbers, and equality holds if and only if all of the n numbers are equal to each other. So let's take the 99th root of 99 factorial. So this will be the 99th root of the product of 99 terms. This will be less than the arithmetic average of the numbers from 1 to 99. So we need the sum of the numbers from 1 to 99. This will be 99 multiplied by 100 divided by 2. This is all over 99. The 99s will cancel out. Then 100 divided by 2 is equal to 50. So this is equal to 50. So the 99th root of 99 factorial is less than 50. Raising both sides to the power of 99, we get 99 factorial is less than 50 to the power of 99. And we found the answer again. Now I just want to close the video with a general point. Let's compare x factorial with 50 to the power of x. In this example, 99 factorial was less than 50 to the power of 99, and it was actually much less. So you might be thinking that x factorial is less than 50 to the power of x. But in fact, for sufficiently large n, it will be that n factorial is much larger than 50 to the power of n. Here's one way to see this. Take a look at the power series expansion of e to the power of 50. Each term is something like 50 to the power of k divided by k factorial. We know this will converge, so eventually the terms will have to tend towards 0. 50 to the power of k divided by k factorial will have to tend towards 0. So for some sufficiently large value of n, we will have 50 to the power of n divided by n factorial is less than 1, which means 50 to the power of n will eventually be less than n factorial. That's an interesting little fact. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. 
See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.